So I'm gonna clear it real quick. And you'll see a little bit of water come out first of our solution. And then the wart comes and I'll stop it. And then it'll be ready to go in here. And I usually just do it like a tad. The only time I use a refractometer. I you mean a hydrometer? I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> and this is uh, known as the original gravity when Ed was talking about the buoyancy. So, you're going to see we're going to be at 1052. about try this yeah all I cared about was chocolate there's more real yeast and lager uh let's see um the the uh, ale yeast is Saccharomyces cerevisiae, and the lager yeast is Saccharomyces uvarnum. Yeah, you got you got to reevaluate every time. So what they what they do in Belgium in particular is when they make these lambics, they'll take the wort and they actually put it up in the attic in these vessels called cool ships. They're shallow tubs, and they literally open the there's there's uh, like, uh, windows sort of. They open them up, and literally whatever flies in there goes into the wort and starts the fermentation process. And Lambic comes from Lambic, which is in the Seine Valley. It's the central part outside of Brussels of Belgium. There's a lot of fruit farms in that area. Well, yeast exists on the skins of fruit. It's a, it's a sugar fungus. So it gets in the air and, gets, and that's where it starts the fermentation. Then the next thing they do the next morning after they let it cool all night is they take that now already starting to ferment wort they let it drain down into the basement where they have wooden vats, wooden vessels, wooden barrels that they put it in. Well, these wood is very porous and microorganisms exist in the wood. Now you've just given those microorganisms new food. They go, ah, more food. They've taken, um, they've taken, taken Lambic and they've, they've uh, analyzed it and they've come up with 170 different microfauna that exists in Lambic. Really? I added uh, Irish moss. Want to separate the proteins, make sure we have a balanced beer, and our yeast has plenty of clarity to understand where the food is and what the food needs to do. Create alcohol. 